Now what this is, is this is an, uh, a 1 plus 18 volt blower from Ryobi. And uh, I use this every day when I'm in the shop. And even when I'm not even uh, in the shop. Now this uh, leaf blower, is, it's not even worth talking about the specs because this leaf blower is extremely weak. Like, uh, I don't use this for anything but cleaning up the shop. Uh, well, I'm going to demonstrate uh, a li uh, blowing some leaves around, but that's pretty much what it's limited to is uh, blowing leaves that are pretty much on the driveway or blowing stuff that is on a solid surface. Because I, I tried this today on the actual grass. It doesn't do anything. Because I just got done filming a few episodes, so I need to clean up shops. When it comes to exterior, this is what it pretty much limits to. But as you can see, this little device does have a purpose, but it's not in the lawn. It's capable It's capable of doing, you know, like concrete work, it's a blow off your deck, you know, uh, clean up your shop, but that's what it's pretty much limited to. Limited to. And the battery on this, is, it's still 75%. But this just doesn't have the power to do lawn work. So like the... The, I don't know what the model number is, but the jet blower ha is, is a lot more powerful than this, but even that's limited to the battery. Which, when it comes to lawn care, I suggest this bad boy. Now this one is extremely powerful, it's gas, you know, and uh, I'm going to do a review on this in the next video and uh, do a demonstration of it. Uh, and so yeah, but when it comes to the... Uh, lawn care when it comes to leaves falling on the from the trees Get this one, but today this is pretty much just gonna be a time-lapse of blowing leaves in the front yard which uh, I'd say like about uh, A little less than half of the leaves fell off of my trees because my trees are huge and have a lot of leaves So I have a good amount out there. So I'm gonna go blow those for the next uh, probably 20 minutes and and just continue. So we're gonna start this up and let this warm up, then go outside and blow some leaves.
Yeah. Hey, see, look at that. That's good. That goes downhill. That goes downhill. See, look at that. Not bad. That leaf blower is very powerful. I mean, that was a lot of leaves. Driveway. Yeah, it was a lot. Alrighty, so as you can see that this is a very powerful leaf blower. Now, like I said before, I already did the specs on this and did a little demonstration of the of the power, and this is just another demonstration. Now, I still, only about half of the leaves fell from the tree. On Friday, I'm gonna do the backyard. And like I said, I only use one of these containers a year because I only do my yard twice. There's no reason to go out there every time there's a, there's a couple of leaves. Uh, whether there's a nice little layer, I just let it accumulate to a certain uh, to a certain height, and then then I uh, blow the leaves. So like one of these containers lasts me for the uh, front and backyard all year, and then I'll have a little left over just to fan out the the grass after when I mow it during the spring and summer. So this thing is awesome. This thing uh, helps out a lot. Now, when it comes to doing that stuff, a uh, battery operated leaf blower by any means isn't gonna do the trick. You need gas when it comes to uh, uh, blowing the actual fall leaves from, from the ground. So use the fuel container, get a leaf blower. Uh, this one, the, the model number for this, I do not know what the model number for this is. I will tell that in the future. I'll put the I'll put that in right now. But yeah, but this thing is awesome. It's very powerful. Uh, so yeah, that's so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this really quick. It's cold outside. I got to winterize the garage, not winterize, but get the tools inside that need to stay out of the cold because there are tools that can't be in the cold, and they won't won't work. And I got to get the batteries inside too. So I got to prep a little area for those. So that's pretty much it. So this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.